What's up everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I am featuring a guest slash subscriber slash friend. Uh, he was a subscriber who reached out to me on Instagram that, hey Yuri, I got a business analyst internship position in FedEx, which is like a big deal. And I was super impressed and I asked him like, hey, do you mind doing a video? So we this, this is the video about uh, me asking him questions about how did he get that business analyst internship? Uh, and hopefully this will help you in your internship and I know a lot of you are working on getting that internship or hopefully will be working on internship and job search. Uh, Superna, uh, that's his name, Superna, thank you so much for doing this. Uh, I know that it means a lot to me. I know that you would appreciate if someone else would have it. So that's why I know that my audience is going to appreciate doing this. Again, thank you so much for doing this. Uh, now I'll let you enjoy the interview. All right, awesome. Uh, let's just, you know, first, let me just put it out there. Thank you so much for in doing this because I know. It yeah, is. no, th uh, thank you for calling me to the channel. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, man. I, I was super impressed when you said that you got uh, internship, business analyst internship. And I know a lot of the audience is into yeah. business yeah. analyst. Yeah. Like yeah. The internship search going on. So let's start uh, quickly with your introduction. Like, you know, where are you from? What are you doing right now? And, and okay, so. My name is Shoparna Chakraborty. Uh, I'm actually from Kolkata, India. So I did my graduation in uh, my undergrad in electronics and communication from National Institute of Technology, Durgapur. So I graduated in 2015. So for three and a half years, I was working with Ericsson Global and then uh, in with Tata Consultancy. So I was mainly working as a security analyst for the first uh, one or one year or so. Then I moved into business analyst kind of uh, roles. After that, obviously, in 2019, I came to U.S. in the spring semester mm -hmm. uh, in in University of Florida for information systems major. So this is my third semester. Yeah, this is my third semester. And I just got the internship in FedEx like a few days back. Nice. Uh, awesome. That's that's awesome. And before we actually get into your internship, let me quickly ask you, what's your profile? Just so that people understand. Yeah. You know, so... Uh, so uh, when I when I got like when I started my career, I was a security analyst, like cyber security and stuff. Uh, so I kind of kind of like uh, after one and a half year, I moved projects like they moved into a different project. And in the next project, I was was in a business analyst sort of role. But I was interacting with clients more, creating reports, risk analysis, and you know creating uh, creating predictive algorithms, data analysis, those kind of roles. Uh, it was kind of uh, away from the security profile. So I did that for around two, uh, one and a half to two more years. And then uh, for six months, I moved to Tata Consultancy. They offered me a position of a team leader. Plus it was actually on my home state. So I wanted to go, get, back, get back and, you know, so I was applying for GRE and apply for my college and stuff for easier. Right, right. Yeah. So That's basically my profile. Got it. And, and what, what was your GRE and TOEFL score? Yeah, so my GRE score was 318. 318 and my TOEFL score I think was 101 or something 101 or 100 something on that the region very nice very nice so and how many colleges did you apply to I applied it applied for six seven colleges and I uh, got in all seven so I applied for NYU I applied for UIUC applied for UF obviously and then I applied for uh, what's that uh, UMCP uh, University of Maryland College Park Right. Uh, okay. Yeah, and then I applied for Northeastern and Syracuse. Got it. And why did you choose the University of Florida? So first of all, uh, like it was always between NYU, uh, EYUC, and UF. So all these three was kind of similarly ranked, in the top thirty, you yeah. know, around around that. Uh, so NYU would be really expensive. Plus, in a it's a, in a huge city, like really yeah. expensive. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, between EYUC and UF, I think mostly the Master's program in UF was much more management oriented, uh, more emphasis on data analytics and those kind of stuff. But on the UIUC side, it was obviously good, but it was more on a technical side like C Sharp and Java and all those stuff. Yeah. So I wanted to actually go into much more, a little more management plus, uh, style because my last job was a team leader, uh, yeah. a scrum, scrum master kind of thing. So I kind of liked that. So yeah. I went to like uh, UF. Got it. And in so this University of Florida is in which city is it in? Uh, Gainesville. Gainesville, Gainesville, Florida. Gainesville. It's a small city, so the cost of living is really low. Like we, I rent my 
room in like three fifty dollars per month. It's really cheap. Got it. What's your total expense per month? Uh, so like my total expense is three fifty per month. Three fifty plus one hundred is like utilities and rent. Uh, I also I also as work as a manager for UF Housing. Yeah. Uh, so I just I just quit that job a few days ago. Anyway, so I was working as a manager. Yeah. Uh, then uh, so my I try to keep since I work out and stuff. I eat a lot of more food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that that expense is a little bit go, gone up. So it's like around one thirty to one forty dollars per month. Yeah. Like for me, but if you want to stay, ch- if you can go it's cheaper than that, if you want, like so you can go cheaper than that. Yeah. Like- Roughly around 400 to 500. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In 500 dollars, you can live well in Gainesville. And and you have roommate or do you have your yeah. personal bedroom? No, no, no. I so I live in an apartment. So apartment has three rooms, uh, three BHK basically. So three rooms and I have two more roommates. Right. So in so my you have your own yeah. bedroom. Yeah, room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. Okay. Yeah, very similar to Chico. I think we have yeah, the yeah. same setup. Awesome and and so now uh, let's talk a little bit about your pro uh, program which is information system like is it technical or is it management? Uh, mm, uh, so it's actually a it's actually uniquely because it has a very good mix. So the first two semesters was actually much more technical oriented. So I had database courses, uh, I had like C sharp and Java courses, uh, things like that. So they actually build up you from the start. Like if you don't know SQL, they will start from the scratch. Yeah. So if you don't know C sharp, you will start from scratch and start. So for the first two semesters, it was kind of technical. I learned Java, I learned C sharp. I had three data- database courses, really good. I learned a bit of machine learning as well. I knew those, but still, you know. Right. Uh, I mean, in now in, in the last two semesters, it's much more of a management style. Like um, they're, I'm taking a course on marketing this semester. I'm taking a course on like organizational behavior. and taking a course on project management those sort of stuff so last two semester is more towards the management stuff and the first two is more heavy on the technical stuff got it okay and you did your bachelor's in computer science no in electronics and communication oh wow yeah. So, yeah so so let me backtrack electronic communication bachelor's then security analyst yeah and then kind of business analyst the scrum master business analyst kind of role and now did so how difficult that transition was like was it difficult to do all the uh, no honestly uh, when i started so being a business analyst the best thing is if you are from if you are a technical guy it becomes really easy for you yeah because uh, so since i was uh, so i was i was a security analyst so i knew what was cyber security is how how networking and all those stuff works and yeah. obviously i was work the projects i was working in was a security project so i yeah. knew the technical stuff i just had to translate it translate it to my clients in a you know in a, in a layman's term to say right. yes. so it was so since i knew the technical side it was kind of more easier for me yeah and and i had like i had like great colleagues so i didn't have much trouble honestly i had the best time working there yeah uh, the trouble i had was the last 6 months when i was in tcs uh, i was working as a team leader like a proper team lead so i was at 25 and all of them were like you know way older than me so it was kind of hard Yeah. Making them work. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I have the same situation now. Yeah, but so, American culture is very different. Yeah, so the, uh, in India there's lots of egos and stuff. So yeah, that's yeah. that's that's an issue. That was an issue. <laughs> right, right. So awesome. So so now you did. This is your third third semester. Third, yeah, uh, this was third semester. Assuming you did not get any internship in summer, did you have any internship? In- <laughs>